Hey, what's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to create multiple Word docs at one time with Excel. So let's get into it. All right, so uh, on the left, got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got uh, like kind of like a template for a service agreement. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that to create a Word document and um, <clears throat> incorporate each one of these rows into its own document uh, as we go along so they'll all get saved in this folder here on the bottom right so let's start with our macro all right let's go ahead and call it uh, batch word template and we'll declare our variables we've got object word as an object object doc as an object um, WS1 is our first worksheet, and then WS2 as a worksheet. And then we're going to also have to count the number of rows that we have here. So we'll just have a row count variable, and that'll be an integer. All right. So now let's set WS1 equal to this workbook. Sheets and the name of WS Sheet 1 is going to be Agreement. And then WS2 is going to be Client List. So we've got Client List and Agreement. And now we're going to activate WS2. So we're going to activate this tab here and we'll count our rows so then we'll get row count which is going to be equal to WS2 cells rows dot count one because we're going to be starting for the very first position here and or the first column sorry and we're going to do end XL up so we're going to be counting up. So let me just quickly just do a message box so we can see what our row count value is in the current moment. All right. Oops. What did I? Oh, that should be equals. Okay. Yep. Okay, 13. See, 13 rows. We're good there. All right. So now let's keep it moving and we're gonna have a loop right so we're gonna use a for loop so for i actually so let me declare this up here i as integer all right so for i equals two because we want to start on the second row here for i equals two down to our row count next i to close this loop what we're going to do is we're going to so let's set our object word equal to create object word application And we're going to do object word. We're going to make it visible. So set that equal to true. And then we're going to set our object doc equal to object word document to add. And now we're going to have to save our file so we're gonna do save as and then I'll grab the uh, file path from here so right click copy address as text and I can just paste it right in here but you see we're kind of going off the line there so let me break it here so I'm gonna put a quotation space ampersand space underscore to continue that line and then add a quotation there and what I'm gonna do now is add a backslash quotation 
and then we're gonna call no actually let's do this we're gonna call the file service agreement underscore and then let me end it there and move to the next line with an ampersand and an underscore and we're going to use parts of our sheet here for the rest of the file name so let's do WS2 remember WS2 is the client list and we're going to take the name of the client and the company that they're doing the service agreement with so it's going to be WS2 sales and then because we're moving down we want to use our variable I so sales I because um, we're moving down each row and then the second parameter is going to be the distance to the right so we're going to be in column one for this one so one and then we want the text and the ampersand and then we're going to add an underscore between the name of the person and the name of the company and then we're going to do another ampersand to connect it so ws2 again sales and then this time we're going to do i and we want one two three this column here so we're going to do i3 text ampersand and then we're going to end it off with a dot dot x all right cool so we got that set so now with our object word and we're going to end our with we're going to activate it and then we're going to start typing so type text WS1, so we're back to this first sheet here. So WS1, and we want to grab this first, the title, WS1 service agreement. So it's going to be doing range A1 dot text. We could also do like we did up here, we could do cells 1 1. They're equivalent, but um, just switch it up. Let's do range A1 text, and then we're going to do selection type paragraph. I did not spell that right. Right? <laughs> okay, there we go. Let me copy this so I can use it over and over again. All right, and then another paragraph, and then we're gonna do selection, type text, and we're gonna use our work first worksheet again. So this service agreement is made between so WS one dot range A two text ampersand. And we're gonna do a space here. And let's move on to the next line. And let's switch over to sheet two. So WS2, sales instead of range. You can go back and forth. Let's just use sales for this sheet and then range for the first sheet. So sales, we're gonna use I, our variable I, and then one, because we want, so I equals two at this point. So we're gonna start here. And we want the text. And then we're going to keep going. So at this point, it, we're using the name and we're going to add from. And then we're going to do WS2 again. Cells, I, and we want this cell here. So it'd be I2, text, ampersand, ampersand underscore. And then we're going to put a comma and space ampersand WS2 sales. And this time, still using I, but this time we're going to be using the company. So three text ampersand. And then let's put a period at the end of that sentence. All right. What did I do wrong? Oh, I need an ampersand right here. All right. So we're good now. Cool. So now we're going to type paragraph again. And now we're going to do selection, type text, 
WS range. So we're back on the first sheet. And we're going to do the client agrees to pay. So WS1 range A3 this time. Text ampersand. Let's put a space. And let's go to the next line. So it's a running out of line. And we're going to do WS2 dot sales I. So the amount to pay is going to be here in column D. So we want four text and percent then that, let's finish off the sentence for the services all right and then add another paragraph or sorry another yeah another space paragraph break I guess you would call it um, so now we'll do selection Type text, and then we're back here. The sheet, uh, sheet one. So we want WS one range A four. Both parties agree to the terms outlined in this agreement, and then. We also want to include a space and then move on to and we'll cooperate to ensure satisfactory completion of the services. So that's going to be so ampersand underscore to continue the line. And we're going to do WS1 range A5 text. All right. So now let's do a few more of these paragraph breaks. And then we're gonna do uh, where like a draw line where they have like where people can have their signatures. So we're gonna do selection type text, and then it's a long underscore. And you know what? Um, selection type text client. Signature, so this will go above that, and then have a couple of spaces. Oops, and then I guess we can copy this and paste it. Delete that and instead of client signature, we wanted to say service provider, service provider signature. Okay. So we've got that. And then let's go ahead. And after this is done, we'll set our object doc equal to nothing and we're going to set our object word equal to nothing and let's go ahead and run it see what we got so what we're going to see is 12 files get created and put into this folder and they should include the service agreement details and each file should have its own data pooled um, as the rows go down so let's see what happens Look at that. Boom. Got a batch process going. See each um, file's got the name of the person and the company. And then you can see the details being pulled. Each one has its unique details. And you've got your client signature, service provider signature for each one. It's looking good. So yeah, it all ran. We got our 12 items based on our 12 items here. And if you look at the files, they've got the data. So for instance, um, we've got our name here on row nine, Atlanta, Jacobson Inc, four million. And uh, it keeps going.
They're all here.